Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope and y-intercept. This is standard 8.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got the graph of a linear function here, and we're looking for the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis, and it looks like it's between 1 and 2, so 1.5-ish. Here's my problem. It could be A. It's definitely not B, because that's less than 1. But it could be C. That's 1. 0.66 and then D got, got cut off a little bit, but that's 4.3. That's 1.33. So visually, I can't tell what it is. So there's got to be another way. Let's see if we can put this into slope intercept form here. All right, we're going to look for y equals mx plus b because that's what we're looking for. That's our y intercept. So let's find the slope. All right, so the slope equals uh, the change in y over the change in x. That's the rise over run. All right, so let's take, uh, let's make this the second coordinates, then make that the first coordinates. It doesn't really matter which order you do it in. So I'm going to make that the second coordinates. So that's going to be my y2, 8 minus negative 7. That's going to end up being a plus 7. And then my x2, 4 minus. There's my 1, negative 5. All right, so I'm going to end up with 8 plus 7, because the two negatives make a positive. Same with this down here. I'm going to have 4 plus 5. All right, so I've got 15 over 9. So my slope is going to be, if I can reduce it by 3, 5. Thirds. All right, so that's my M. I mean, I know that's that's what that is there for C. There's a chance that could also be my Y-intercept, but that's my slope, right? So now I know Y equals 5 thirds X plus B. Now, how do I get from here to figuring this out? Well, you know what? I actually know two coordinates that I can plug in here. I'm going to use the positive just because I figure that's going to be a little bit easier. Let's plug back in the y and the x and see if we can isolate that b. Check this out. So my y coordinate is 8. So I'm going to plug that in right there is my y. 5 thirds times my x coordinate is 4 plus b. So look at that. I got everything I need. I just need to simplify here. So this is going to be 8 equals, okay, 5 times, it's going to be 20 over third, over 3 plus b. All right, so I need to subtract this over here. So I'm going to subtract from both sides minus 20 thirds minus 20 thirds. All right, so I'm going to end up with, I'll write it up here, 8 minus 20 thirds equals B. All right, let's see if I can get that uh, 8 into thirds. If I can multiply that by 3, all right, that's going to be 24 thirds. If I just divide, multiply top and bottom by 3, Look at that, 24 minus 20 thirds, that's going to equal 4 thirds. All right, so once you find the slope, plug it back in, you could take your x and y. I could have done the same thing with this right here. If you want to take a moment to do that, you'll find you'll get the exact same answer, even though they're negatives. They'll end up with the exact same answer. Your answer is going to be d, 4 thirds.